The healing process takes time. The healing speed will depend on the intensity of your trauma and how long, how many days, months, years you were traumatized. In the book, uh, the author uh, also talks about an experiment that was performed in the United States about 34 years ago. And this experiment was performed on dogs. Dogs were locked in cages and were given electroshocks. At first, the dogs were trying to escape. Because there was no way out, they eventually gave up trying. At a certain point, scientists opened the cages and continued giving them the electroshock. The surprising fact was that the dogs were no longer even trying to escape. The conclusion of this experiment is when a person is deeply traumatized or has been living with a specific amount of time with an abuser for several months or years, at some point their psyche will give up. This explains why people who were abused in childhood end up in toxic relationship in their adulthood. This explains why women spend years in abusive relationships. Towards the end of the experiment, the scientists were trying to find out how to get the dogs to leave their open cages, how to teach them, how basically how to heal the uh, emotional and physical abuse. Uh, in order to do that, they had literally drag them out of their cages again and again and again. Only after multiple repetition, the dogs were finally able to leave the cages on their own. After multiple repetition, the dogs were able to see the exit and to believe that they can escape. Uh, that's why when people come to therapy and take only one, two or three sessions, uh, they might say that therapy does not work. Uh, unfortunately, the deeper the trauma, the longer we need, to, the more time we need to heal it. That's why we need multiple sessions. That's why we need to work on your trauma, on your uh, childhood abuse, or maybe on your parents' divorce, not one, not twice, not even three times. We need to do multiple repetitions. We need to use different exercises. We need to work with your body, mind, and spirit, your soul, your emotions, uh, your self-awareness, your mind, right? We need to use multiple methods in order to break out our limiting beliefs, in order to change our behavior pattern, in order to find an exit and heal our trauma and heal our pain. And you can go to the best therapist in town, but still one session is not going to be enough. Some of you who have already tried my free guided meditation videos know that I recommend repeating them for at least 21 consecutive days. If you do it once or twice, it won't work or the result uh, will fade quickly. So in order for our brain uh, to change our limiting beliefs, to find the new behavior, to start working um, on our self-esteem, we need at least 21 consecutive days. And if you're interested in uh, my free guided meditations, I will leave the playlist um, to all my meditations below in the description of this video. And I'm not asking you to trust my words. I'm asking you to try it yourself. Uh, choose any meditation that you like and do it for at least 21 days and then please share your truthful experience and um, thoughts about uh, this healing process in the comment section on the YouTube. I will be happy to see your comments. I will be happy to guide you and I will be happy to see your results.